Welcome to On This Day, where we explore the impactful moments that occurred on June 29 throughout history. Today, we mark 410 years since a performance of William Shakespeare's Henry VIII in 1613 led to a disaster when the Globe Theatre's thatch was accidentally set alight by a cannon signaling the king's entrance, leading to its complete destruction within an hour. The loss of the Globe Theatre represents a significant blow to historical preservation, as it deprives future generations of a tangible connection to the seminal works and theatrical traditions of Shakespearean times. Next we're hopping in the time machine and going back 67 years to 1956 when the Federal Aid Highway Act was signed, which they officially kicked off the creation of the United States Interstate Highway System. Driven by the need for more efficient transportation and mobility within the country, this transformative initiative drastically reshaped the American landscape, influencing urban development, enabling coast-to-coast -coast travel, and profoundly affecting the nation's economy and lifestyle. Next, we're hitting rewind to 49 years ago in 1974, when Mikhail Baryshnikov, one of the greatest ballet dancers ever, ditched the Soviet Union for Canada while touring with the Kirov Ballet. He was tired of the strict controls on his creativity and wanted the freedom to dance his own way. And this bold move made headlines, shook up the dance world, and had a big influence on artists pursuing their freedom to create. Next, we journey back to June 29, 1994, 29 years ago. The US controversially reopened its Guantanamo naval base to process refugees, mainly from Haiti and Cuba, a decision stemming from a large-scale migration crisis. The reopening led to contentious debates about human rights and immigration policy, setting a precedent for the base's later use as a detention center for terrorism suspects post-9-11, a use that has ignited significant controversy and international debate. On June 29, 2009, 14 years ago from today, American hedge fund investment manager Bernie Madoff received a sentence of up to 150 years in prison for operating the largest Ponzi scheme in history. Madoff was running the biggest scam in history, a Ponzi scheme, tricking people to invest their money with false promises, which led to them losing billions, shook the financial world, and caused a major overhaul in rules to prevent something like this from happening again. Thanks for joining us on this journey through history. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily historical adventures.